Hello everyone. Linux is a multi-user operating system, meaning multiple users can log into the operating system at the same time. To understand Linux, it is very important to understand the concept of users and groups. So let's talk about it in this lecture. Users in Linux can be of two types, human users and system users. Human users are the people who log into the system and system users are used to start non-interactive background services such as maybe a database service. But from the perspective of the operating system, there is no distinction between a human user and a system user, and all the information is stored in the same file. However, each user is assigned a unique user ID in Linux system, and the user ID range is different for human users and system users. So let's have a look at this. Let's go back to our terminal and let's execute grep uid slash etc slash login dot tefs. Now what this what this command does is it searches so grep is used to search for keyword uid in this file in this particular location so if we hit enter i can see that the this is the range for human users so between 1000 to 60000 and this is the range for system users between 100 to 999 now the information about users is stored in slash etc slash passwd so let's do a cat slash etc slash passwd to view the contents of this file. Now, this file has a list of all the users configured to access this system. We have our root user here, and these are all the system users. And we can confirm by that by looking at this particular column, which is user ID for that user. And this is between 100 and 999. So these are system users. The last user on this list, however, has a user ID 1000, which means this user is a human user, as are these two users. Now let's have a look at the information for each user. Now, this is the username of that particular user. The second column is a placeholder for the password of that particular user. The third column contains the user ID, which is unique in the Linux system. The fourth column is group ID. So each user in a Linux system is part of a group, and a group is a collection of all users that perform a similar function for example power users users that have access to read only files finance related files etc and each group contains a group id which is unique for that particular group the next column contains a comment about that particular user for example from this comment i can see that my user is a system admin the next column is the home directory for that user so slash home slash labit admin and the last column is the shell for that particular user. Now, if we look at the root user, which is the first user on the file, we can see the root user has a user ID of zero and a group ID of zero. The comment is that it is a root user. Its home directory is also root and it starts the shell in bin slash bash. Now, to add a new user, all we've got to do is type in user add. Now, let's have a look at the help for this particular command. Now, the help file tells us that the usage is user add, some options, and then the login name for that particular user. So let's have a look at the options. So we can set the comment for that user, we can set the home directory, we can set a group ID, we can create a home directory for this user if it doesn't already exist, we can set up a password and we can give it a shell. So we can also manually give it a user ID as well. So let's set up a user. So we can type in user add and then let's put a comment as new user. Now let's make it an administrator user. So minus G and the group ID of administrator user is 1000. So let's make it part of 1000 group and let's make a home directory for this user and let's give it a shell and a bin bash. Let's give it a password as well. So just give it my password as password. And finally, let's give it a username. So, but we forgot one thing. Because I'm not logged in as root, I need to run this command as sudo. So I'll hit enter here, type in my sudo password, and I think, oh yeah. So there's a, forgot to put a space between password and my user. So just created a new user with password as password and part of the group 1000. And we can verify this by checking the contents of passwd file again. You can see I have my new user set up as my user. The user ID on this user is 1003. It's part of the group that my labit user, which is an administrator, is part of. The comment is new user, has a home directory, and that's its shell. Now, you can change the password that was initially created by typing in passwd command, and that will ask us to change the password of that particular user. So to reset password of some user on the system, you need to type in 
passwd space the username of that particular user now let's modify this user so to modify we need to utilize a command called user mod so user add to add a user and user mod to modify any existing user account let's say you want to change the username from my user to my admin so to do that let's do a sudo user mod and let's look at the help file to see how we can achieve this so the, this is the user mod options so let's have a look minus l will give it the new value of a login name so that's what we need to use so we type in sudo user mod minus l so new is my admin and the old username was my user and we hit enter and let's get the past ability file again and we can see we were able to change the username of that particular user and we can see that the user id and group id were not changed now you can also lock and unlock an account by using minus l and minus u flags so if we go back to the help file we can see minus capital l will lock the user account and minus capital u will unlock the user account so let's try and lock this user account first let me try and switch to this user i can do that by typing in su space minus username so my admin i need to give it the username the password for that particular user so i'm able to log in as this user now let's switch back to the original user now let's try and lock it using user mod command Now let's try and switch to this user. So I'll do it again to make sure that I'm not doing it because my password's wrong. So I can't log in. Now let's unlock this user. See, I'm able to log in now. Now you can also change the user ID of this particular user. So if I type in su minus labit and I do the command sudo minus small u. So I go to the help again. So small u will give it a new user ID. And I can give it 1100 and give it a username. So it's giving us an error. So let's try another user ID. Let's see what happens. Okay. So it's unable to initialize policy plugin. And that is because I haven't given it the user mod command. So if I type in user mod and change it to 1100 so it says currently user my admin is currently used by process 6848 so it won't allow it because the user is already logged in so let's switch into that user first and type in exit to log out the user and now let's try and do a user mod on that user and now let's do a cat on that particular password file and you can see the user id of my user was changed to 1100 so we can do multiple edits on a user after it's been created now we can use user del command to delete a user so let's delete this user so again let's do a user del let's clear this first now let's do a user del and let's do minus minus help to see the usage we can force we can remove the home directory and mail spool and we can change the directory using true and remove any se user mappings so let's do this sudo user del minus f will force removal of files and we want to remove the home directory as well so minus rf and i want to delete my admin right so now let's do a etc pass wd and as you can see the user was deleted now there is another way of creating user accounts so let's clear it and that way is if we use the add user command right so if we do a sudo add user and then type in a username it asks us for a password so I, let's say password and then it asks us for various details so i can type in the name of the user type in various things like so you have a choice between using user add or add user so user add you need to provide some options and values for those options add user you have to provide it asks you for a password it lets you put fill in details like full name room numbers etc now let's have a look at our etc and past wd file for this particular user so you can see the my admin user was created and all the information that we put in was entered into the comments column now that brings us to the end of this lecture i will see you in the next lecture where we'll talk about the super user in linux bye if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube.